Shalom. Shalom. And first and foremost, we like to give our praises on our glory to Jehovah, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakodash, double on the soul apostles and the elders of Great Bill Sunnah, surely to be well. Salutations to each and every one of the Akim, Virgin that pushed this gospel of the insincerity and truth. Right? Um, these are two brothers from Jehovah Shunadad, Brother Lamad. Right? Um, coming to do another video through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, who paid the fine towards you from the left. Right? Um, basically, we'll entitle this one here, We Told You So. Um, you know, from the elders and the apostles all the way down. Alright? We, we've been telling people that, guess what, they're going to have an, a World War Three, And this World War Three, you know, basically, going to be fought with, with new nuclear bombs. Alright? Um, so, go ahead. It says, um, Ezekiel 33 and verse 31. Um, no, so that. Are we from 31? Yes, and, they, and, they, and they come unto thee as the people commit, and they sit before thee as, a, as my people, and they heard thy words, but they will not do them. Yeah, because when we are there on the highways and byways, you know, you see the signs, everybody will ask, what new thing is this? You know, um, some people, they get confused and all. They ask if we Muslims or, or Rastas, but we none, we the prophets of Yahweh Hashem and Shai. And our duties as prophets is to come out here and say the things before. You know, we basically bring the understanding of the scriptures out there to you people, you know, and telling warning you people about the things that are going and come and say repent and turn back to the way, turn back to the law and as our um, head apostles say hey this is the last time because every time the Mosai takes down a kingdom he rise up prophets so this is the this is the sign this is the sign of Jonas that Yahusha was talking about this is the end and the fall of Babylon system which is America Sorry. it says um For with my mouth, they sh they show much love, but their hearts go with after their con covetousness. Yeah, a lot of them. Um, just just the other time, um, about two weeks back on the works, I felt like he came up. You know, he was intoxicated. Also, he said, "Boy, love, love, boy, I love, boy. You know, I love all you do. You know, look, thing, you know, born down Babylon. You know, everything all you say is true and thing. Whatever the case is, but what you're going back right after you smoke cigarette. You know, you might be tracking somebody, woman." You know, the way how you conduct yourself on the road also, you know, you're not doing the works, so you're not doing the, you're not obeying the word of the Lord, you understand? Go ahead. Right, um, verse 32, and lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that had a, ple a pleasant voice and can play well on the instrument. Yeah, black consciousness, man. Black consciousness, you understand? Because what some people mistake us and call us black Hebrew Israelites, all right? But that far from the truth. Because it's not the skin color that matters, but the seed of Israel that matters. The seed of Isaac. Well, it says, For they heard thy words, but they do them not. And they, it says, and when, it's, and when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Yeah, and it will come. You understand? So long as these these arrows have been shot, just so I'm going to go into the apocrypha here on the um, second show, chapter sixteen. Always have you see it. It says um second show, sixteen verse eight, the mighty Lord send the plagues and who is he that can drive them away? If I shall go forth from his wrath and who is he that may quench it, alright? Because when these nuclear missiles, which are plagues, also they are sent, nothing can turn them back. They say so long as you're putting the code and everything for these ICBM nuclear missiles, it have no turning back. You can't, you know, stop it mid air or anything like that. It will hit its destination and that is the will of your Bashem El Shai. And after the um these bombs hit, they also have nuclear fallout where you know um you have radioactive poison and all these kind of things. So it also is a plague. Right, this is the sword and the destruction that the most I and set upon the face of the earth. You know, and we have been telling you all this, and guess what? Now it's ringing in the news because the Russian president Vladimir Putin he started to mobilize it. Have a train that is a part of the nuclear program. He done mobilize it to go on the front line there in Ukraine. Right, he sent out um I believe it's one or two submarines 
Well, if I can, if I'm not mistaken, they said they did lose one. Yeah, they lose one of the um, subs. At least die with the um, die with the, the news or die with this. Okay. You know, one of the subs went missing. And that is one of the subs will have the um, I think it's the Poseidon. Okay. You know, so. Yeah, and the Poseidon is nicknamed the, um, the weapon of the apocalypse because of the mighty power that it have. You know. Yeah, and, and where's, the, where's, the come, where's the irony of that, you know? Mm -hmm. Putin speaking about um, nuclear threat, you know, we say I'm about nuclear threat, you know, and um, the person went missing probably a week, a week, a week ago, okay. you know, so we see that tensions rising, you know, World War Three is right around the corner because, you know, um, this, the, the, the cashless, um, whole, the whole ca cashless um, movement, yeah, it, 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 it in the making right now, it's it on the go, you know, so everything happen, happening for, for, for the elect's sake, right about now, it's happening because the elect, the, the hopefully elect I should say, you know, because we, we hope we are part of the elect, hopefully like the Lord, the Lord making these things happen because the hopefully like right now they're crying out, and you know, they're crying out to the Lord, they're crying out to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, we we crying out to the true power, and the true power here, hey, the Lord here in us. You know, but everything falling, and everything falling, you know, in, in, in the proper timing, in the proper order. Okay. You know, the Lord hearing us, but hey, he's saying, hey, let's hold on a little bit. Every, everything falling into place. Okay. You know? Yeah, that's why he said, um, we tear upon me until I rise up towards the prey. You understand? Because what? We sin against him. And that is why, you know, he sent us out here again, you know, to put you people back in the right mind. I will bear the, the um, indignation of the Lord because we, um, we have I have sinned against Him. Come. You know, so wherever we going through right now, you know, we are we are we still have to take it because it's a chastening of love at the end of the day, Come. chastening a correction. Yep. You know, so we gotta be glad because the Scripture tell you when the Lord chastens it's because He love you. That's right. So, let me just finish this. It says um. What? Or it over verse 33 in um, Ezekiel 30, 33. It says, And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come, then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. And, and that be a, yeah, right? A prophet meaning that somebody who could see before a spokesman because, um, hey, let me get that real quick, right? This is Amos chapter 3, verse 6 and 7. Right, for six, seven, and eight. Matter of fact, because as I say, we are spokesman of the Lord. Right, this is in most chapter three, verse six, seven, and eight. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city? And how about Shemir Shai had not done it? Meaning, what the Mosai going to bring evil times? So all these evil times is the Mosai is going to bring it down and bring it because what the economy. Wars, right? These pestilences is what is made for the, the scourges uh, of men, right? It says, um, shall it, um, for seven, surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. So, you know, when, when we in secret, all right, um, the Mosai basically, we are ambassadors of the Lord, the Mosai talks to our spirit, you know. Also, when we read, when we eat this rule. You know, we feed ourselves with this word and we go out there and bring the, the plain, the, the plainness of the scriptures out there. You know, we come like the ambassadors that the king will have around him and then he send us out. And that is what we do, right? Surely the Lord God will do nothing but he revealed his secrets unto his servants and prophets. The lion hath roared, who will not fear? The Lord power hath spoken, who can but prophesy? You understand? Because he's the one, as I say, brings all these things into um bring all these things to pass all right and um let me see something as i am there where is that where is that if it's isaiah 46 i know which one of the bibles i have it in um isaiah, isaiah 46 it's also about psalms 119 but then anyway, um psalm 146 and verse 9 it says, remember the former things of old, for I am power and there is none else. I am power and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning. Right? So, 
as I say, you know, look how long, you know, the prophets have been out here speaking about nuclear war people. They wasn't taken as serious. We talking about World War Three. They wasn't taken. That, that never happened. When when we was talking about the time it thing we had no work and thing and the pandemic hit and all the, the, the according to Ecclesiastes 12, when the door shall be shut, right? And people wasn't having no people was actually looking for us. A man said, boy, they had to come back out there. Hmm. They had to come back out there, boy. People, it had, boy, how you going and how you joining, boy? Which goes back to the prophecy also in um with our first Samuel. Two and the last last first Come here, yeah. <laughs> yeah, put put Pre aside pretty in, in a priestly garment. garment you understand I won't say after that. yeah so you see these things coming to pass so the most it should that the most I dealing with me and you the men of great millstone from the elder apostle tower all the way down right um declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the thing that are not yet done so the most I give us his words to declare the things that have not yet um, done and now it coming to pass the scripture said do it tarry wait for it say my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure and that is what the Mosai doing right about now he doing all his pleasure upon Babylon come and sit in the dust no? Go ahead. and this is Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 12 it says and it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their lees mm -hmm. right because you were saying um, the, um, back back when the pandemic hit, you know, it had men who seen all that come back out, you know, and here it is that everything kind of cool down. Mm -hmm. Although um, I, I was watching the news yesterday and I was actually reading something and they say like Omicron variant is starting to spike up in some one of them countries. I can't remember if it's Europe or some some one of these countries. Mm. You know, um, things kind of settle along now. Men, you know, they're going back to the old ways. Okay. You know, they, they no longer want to hear what the Lord Prophet had to say. You know, so the Lord said, You're going to um, bring that punishment. I'm going um, look up something about Yeah, I can. Um, like a man that looking at me around as soon as he did, you know, think he forget what man and man he mm -hmm. was. Understand? <clears throat> Because when the pandemic, you're watching yourself in the mirror, boy, I wonder if I write, boy, and that pandemic thing, yeah, you leave the mirror, you forget how you look. You understand? Um, right, um, you were saying something there, a precept came to mind. You know? It says, um, easy English, it says, when you look up the word leaves now, it goes back to dregs. Okay. Um, dregs. say to themselves the Lord will do neither good nor evil right and that basically with a saying you know the, 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 let me read it over it says um, the ISV it says and I will come about that and it will come about that I will search Jerusalem this is FNI 1 and 12 with the candles punishing the, the self satisfied and complacent Right, the complacent. Um, look up the word complacent. Right, give me a second. Okay. I want to back it right Yeah, you can go by the time. Right, this is um, Emo 6 and 1. I right? just about the brother there, the point. Right, because to settle on your leaves means to settle on uh, basically like on drugs also. Dregs, yeah. Six and one, woe to them that are at ease in Zion and trust in the mountain of Samaria, which named chief of the nations to whom the house of Israel came. Right? So, all you people who are at ease, right, and jumping on to those, um, verse, where is that? Verse six, it says that drink wine in bowls. You understand? You ain't drinking wine in a cup, but you're drinking wine in bowls, so you're drinking it, uh, you know. Uh, Big, big volume and anoint themselves 
with the chief ointments, but they are not grieved for the affliction of Joseph, right? So the Lord was saying here also, right, at that point in time, that people in um, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, you know, them at ease, but they ain't studying the, the Virgin, the um, Ephraim, Manasseh, and thing in, in Assyria, in, in, in captivity, right? Because the Lord himself said in um, is that Jeremiah 30, 18, he bemoaned himself for, for, um, for Ephraim, because Ephraim is his beloved son, you know? But we are studying, hey, um, that, you know, we, we is it, so we ain't, we ain't really study the, the rest of the tribes, right? We, we become proud and, and forgetting that what Ephraim was our brother. So, but for two-thirds now, the thing about two-thirds now, right? They, they ain't really care about the situation that their brother in. You see, a man walking on the road as a vagrant, whoever. You see, we people is the most destroyed, but you ain't studying that so long as you're driving a big time car, whatever the case is. You just say basically, you fuck away with that. You ain't really care about your own people. Some of them who talking about black conscious movement and thing. Why you help the poor? You understand? You have a, 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 a fucked up mindset. And then the couple will complete and it says self satisfied, contented, kindly, as a complacent temper. I just says pleased, satisfied, gratified, contented. Right, and that's exactly who the Lord, the ones the Lord will and destroy, the one who satisfied with, with this kingdom, satisfied with the lifestyle, or the lifestyle that Esau will present unto, unto this kingdom. Can't, right? This, this, um, can't call this a kingdom. Yeah, it's a blasted, nasty kingdom. Yeah, yeah. I will set a blasted, bloody pads all over the place. Yeah, you can't be satisfied. In a place like this, and that is why the Lord will destroy because this is other man no more. Done. This is my cut to ten arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sword destruction. Mm -hmm. You understand? That is why um where is that? Wisdom of Solomon chapter four. Right? When when it, when it says um that the Mosai, you know, he basically took out Yahushai at a young age. Oh from the um I need to go to Solomon 24, 21, 4, 31, something, something, something. So, from the week, um, yeah, sure, not true. For honorable age is not that which standeth in length of time, no that is measured by numbers of years. Yeah, because Yahushua was 33 at the age of 12, he, he was done, he um, surprised the, 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 the doctors, the scribes, and the Pharisees. Like, oh, oh. He, he had all said it in wisdom of Solomon, you know. When you read around verse 8, verse 12, somewhere around the kings and people shall hush them out when he speak. You understand because wisdom ain't only come by age, but by the spirit and power. Yeah, but Shemiah was shy. Yeah, was shy. Was young. Word. Right. This is um. Unto men, and an unspotted life is old age. He pleased, he pleased Yahweh, and was beloved of Him, so that living among sinners, he was translated. Yeah. This is um. My beloved son, you understand? Hear he him, you understand? And we am you over that last part, eh? It says, verse 10, it says, He pleased Yahweh and was beloved of him, mm -hmm. so that living among sinners, he was translated. Yeah, he was translated here. Basically, he um, died, come back, you know, and then taken up into the new flesh. And continue. And it says, verse 11. It says, Yea, speedily was he taken away, lest that wickedness should alter his understanding yeah. or deceit. Yeah, he died a soul, Salah. Yeah, God knows, no Salah. Um, he died at the age of 33. And who he was living amongst? He was living amongst the Romans. At that time, the Romans was ruling, right? And the Romans and the Greeks are the same people, Edomites. And we scripture say when um, Alexander the Great, four generals had to rule that wickedness multiplied in the earth. You understand? So Yahushai came, 
he did his mission and the Lord took him out of the jar to the tree. Let's what? Let's um it says um less wickedness should alter his understanding and deceit beguile his soul. Right, because when he was King Solomon he lived up to a certain age. But after he um he started to experiment with so many things, he, he um turned to idols. So the Lord took him out at a young age at this time. And this time he was more excellent than um because when you say one greater than Solomon is here. Mm -hmm. You understand John John the Baptist said uh, the Mosai basically didn't hold back the spirit from him. You understand that that measure of the spirit it wasn't hold back from him. The Lord brought him here, you know, teach whatever the case is to wake up the, the um the twelve disciples, the apostles, down to the seventy, right? And then the um keep on going on, you know, till the church built. The yeah. Lord took it out, then bring it back. You know, with Abba Bidens. That scripture, you know, you remember, um, that is Dan Daniel, it's Daniel 7, 20, 20, 25, and it says, um, you shall wear the, the saint. The saint, you know, because the scripture here, it, it tells you, um, in verse 11, it says, lest the wickedness should alter his understanding, you know, and we know that, yeah, was shy, yeah, was shy. He's the son of the most high, you know. Can. And the elect. The elect is the elect. The elect, as the scripture said, the elect. If it was possible, possible. the elect can't be deceived. You know what I mean? But it's it, it just the wickedness in the place, yeah. The, it, it, you, know, you know what I mean? Yeah, you will start to wonder, yeah. too, like, Lord, this is it. Because even as just asks that question, Lord, I. Yeah. Look, well, I had this one here, Jeremiah 12 and 1. Righteous art thou, O Yahweh, when I plead with thee, yet let me talk with thee of thy judgments. Wherefore doth the way of the wicked prosper? Wherefore all the happy that deal very treacherously say, like, you know, Lord, like, what really going on here? Look how long them ruling and them kind of thing, and them wicked, no? But, but you understand? Okay. It's just simple, but them, them are Babylon, they're more happy than they are Zion. Them and Babylon don't keep yeah, the law. God. They keep the law, so now you start to, like, one nine eight here now. The Lord showing you now, it's, it's not so. I just gave them my time to think, well, they have to learn too. Mm -hmm. Understand? But after that, I'm going to go and see. The sinisters will never rule forever, you know? The sons of the wicked. Can I... Is it something? La. Yeah. Right. I... You want more? Um, nah, um, I could just want read this here. This is, um... Ezekiel, right? Ezekiel chapter 12 and verse, verse 22. Son of man, what is that proverb that he had in the land of Israel? Saying the days are prolonged and every vision faileth. Tell them therefore, thus said the Lord Power, I will make this proverb to cease and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say unto them, the days are at hand and the effect of every vision. For there shall be no more vain vision nor flattering divination between the house of Israel. For I am Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, I will speak. And the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged. For in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform it, said the Lord. Power. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> they come like, oh, oh. so no one is talking. No, 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 you see that, and you say, it might happen, you know. Mm -hmm. But that is after grand chill and chill and chill. They're not going to use no nuclear bombs now, but you know, like, you know, he up, you know. Yeah, well. <laughs> he said he would, and then he just had a. No, well, <laughs> you understand? What's going on with them now? They, 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 they realize that, you know, people are saying, when the scriptures say, um, um, the kingdom, the kingdom, how does it say, bye? Since I small, like we we hear yeah, that God yeah. coming here. Yeah. Since I small, we hear God coming. So the so the the saying to itself, you know, the Lord the Lord prolonging it. Then yeah, it go prolong, it go it go keep on prolonging, it go keep on prolonging, like a world without end. Can you know? And, and that is what the Lord had them feeling that everything will not be prolonged and everything will not stay just like this. And we ain't gonna see um the mark of the beast. I mean, we ain't gonna see World War Three. Can. And all these things. They were their children to see it, but them they won't see it. But the thing is you you, you are your children. 
You understand? Mm -hmm. You are your child. So then you take it, you're going and see it. This is um because guess what? Some of them people, um what you see, my grandfather, but you is your great grandfather come back here. So guess what you're seeing it now? This is um Second Peter 3 4. And saying where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For this they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of power the heavens were of all and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. But the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store. Reserve unto fire. <laughs> That's the coming time. <laughs> Against the day of judgment and perdition of the ungodly men. And who is the ungodly men? The scripture says, For Esau is the end of the world. The Lord say in the ways that um, Second Thessalonians that you know it will be revealed in his time. So we see him who is the wicked. Esau Elam, he ruling. So the earth is reserved for that fire you know, that the most high going and delete that cancer. This is um that chemotherapy mm. right because i think they, they use lasers if i'm not mistaken stand to be corrected right because i know it's um radioactive isotopes they just use you know and the most i going and come with a heat to destroy the the the, the kingdom of uh, america right and right now we see any prophecy speaking because what's going on right now even europe having problems with the United States of America, it have internal problems in NATO and the EU. Germany having problems with Poland, right? Italy having problems with France, right? Um, Turkey and Greece having little conflict for the Mediterranean islands. They say, um, the, I think she's the former chancellor or probably still chancellor because I know they had a new chancellor which I made for Germany she basically agreeing with Russia right now with that um because some can some somebody had um was going and do the investigation to the, the sabotage of the Nord Stream and they didn't include Germany neither Russia which um that, that pipeline actually running directly to Germany you know so you see some people they actually back in because hey um the scripture says a company and nations are going and come up against america and the scripture said these ten horns they shall hit the the war which is um you on the 30th of september russian president vladimir putin signed some agreements he incorporated four ukrainian territories into russia these ones luansk donetsk zaporizhia and kherson while signing these agreements, Putin said, we will defend our land with all forces and resources we have. What did he mean? Did he want the word resources to be read as nuclear? That Moscow will defend its land with all its forces and nuclear warheads that it has. Hey, Malachi 4 verse 1 says, the day going and come that the earth going and burn as a over. What do you think the Lord was talking about? It's talking about these ICBM nuclear missiles. Joel chapter 2. It says that before them the lamb was like the gardener eating and then after is a desolate wilderness. We all watch those assimilations when the show when a nuclear bomb hit. How the place could not look after. Right? We, the men of Great Millstone, I told you so. But the MOTB, the Karagma, that rice grain, that chip, chip, chip. You understand? <laughs> chip, 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 then can it, it has to take place first now it might have a preempted nuclear strike but as they're saying it might be a small tactical nuke or a short range nuke it ain't going to be the one that actually carry a big yield because most likely if, if he's to strike within Ukraine he ain't going to want to like damage them places he now annex alright you will have to go more strike more a western more western part of Ukraine Right, and as I say, it will be a small unit. I think when I'm be one of like the Samat, he won't use the Samat, right? He might use one of the S300 or S400, a small tactical um, nuke or one that could drop from a plane. But when it coming towards America, it go, <laughs> the the Rata Yabashemel shine on that place. This is um, second entrance 15. I mean, um, 
16 and verse 14 it says behold the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth the fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consumed the foundation of the earth and that earth is talking about it ain't talking about the whole planet right what it actually talking about the earth there is speaking about the land which is which is america Sorry. right they're going to consume america the land of bosra right so all you all you you americans right that in your pride you know this is America, the great America, will land greater than America, nobody can beat America. But guess what? All those military, the world militaries together and as as even El Apostle Tasty, right? The the, the eight beasts which presided from the seven, right, which is um you know Britain, because you Americans, the, the 13 colonies actually came from, from Britain because it had Spain, France and, and then Britain. You people in America get on uh, more proud than all your ancestors in Britain. That why scripture said they shall hate the whole because all you get on the one. But that way scripture say your mother shall be um, ashamed of thee. Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah, 50 or 51. Because these British people, they don't really like Americans. Americans don't really like British. So they, what the UK will do, they will send nuclear missiles and hit you too. Are you proud? I'm a I'm an American. You can't touch me like that. I'm an American citizen. You know what I hear to hear that eh? <laughs> it's, um, uh, Revelation chapter nine and verse fifteen. It says, "And the fourth angel." Hmm? No, some of them say, "I got my green card." And the fourth angel will loose, which will be prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year to slay the third part of men God, the third part of men is what he saw the kid because they are the sons of God the sons of men and the sons of the wicked God. right and the third part of men is who he saw right the sons of the wicked so when those angels you know loose right the, the, which I'm um, going back into the um, the missiles when it dies with um, nine, right? Mm -hmm. Revelation nine, right? It speak about the power in the head, and about the tail. The power in the head go back to the, the nuclear warhead, right? The nuclear warhead, and when it explode, you know that that power that it have and the the tail, right? Is uh, when when it shut out to the side, oh, and it have to correct itself to go its destination. It's like a snake when it slid inside. Right. Yes. Yeah, it is Revelation 11 and 13. It says, And the same hour was there a great earthquake, mm -hmm. and the tenth part of the city fell, and in the earthquake was slain the um, slain of men seven thousand, and the remnant were frightened and gave glory. Right, so it's a complete, a complete number of men going to be destroyed, right? Because the whole land of America will going to be totally wiped out, all right? And the remnant, which is the elect, right? The remnant of Israel, they, they're going to see the destruction and still be like, bees, boy. going to start to them. When they, you know, like sometimes you're watching fireworks and one go down and you get frightened, but it's still so exciting to see. Mm. That is exactly what's going to go on with the elect. You see, we by a total destruction. Eh? Babies, dogs, cats, rats, and and many could die down the <laughs> in that fire. But the most I see going and consume the whole foundation of the, of the, of the earth, of the land. Mm -hmm. For the wickedness, all the blood that that of those slaves, those Negroes, Latinos, and natives that was there, the most I going and you know, they calling out them. Eh? Russia, by the way, has the world's largest nuclear arsenal. And now let's rewind a little more. On the 21st of September, Putin said he is not bluffing about the use of nuclear weapons. Let me go. And if I may say, other analysts, people who know him, even they say Joe Biden himself, as you can see, right, inside of, um, well, my screenshot here, right, Joe Biden say he know the man. Say the man no bluff. If the man tell you he gonna do something, he gonna do it. If if he had to do something, 
to you know show you not to test it, you know, but to show you he, he will not do it. Okay. Right? So most analysts say don't do take don't take it for a bluff. And Joe Biden say and Joe Biden had cognitive um, problems. He, he mind ain't that good. Yeah. And look he like he, he talking straight here, he say I I know Vladimir Putin, I know the guy. Shouldn't take this stuff off. <laughs> yeah, threat, threat on the whole, you shouldn't, you shouldn't never take lightly. Like, you know, they have man threaten you, you, you go, um, you go, you know, you go like, you will be on your guard. Yeah. You go always be on your guard because it, it's a threat. Okay. You know what I mean? But hey, things heated up. You know, since since we entered into this, we see things heating up. You know, we've been always saying that things heating up and oh. heating up even more. They, they, they fire igniting even more. The flames getting hotter mm -hmm. right because there's more it, 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 it have more um what was the point the point more um um oxygen that does ignite a fire more right yeah it can right and on most of the point in the fire is the more it, it, it go ignite so we see we see things happening it, it happening it happening it, it, it happening and it, it's a yapa thing it's a yapa thing Fright, as the scripture said, the remnants so that we are afraid and give and give praises. You know, we will be afraid, but we will give praises until how our Hashem You know what I mean? Because we, we, we longing for, we longing to get out of this body. That's right. Right? To to to, to get a, 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 um to be righteous. You know, you get a get a righteous body, get a that, that perfect body. You know, that perfect mind. You know, and in, in, in that perfect kingdom, buddy. That is what we're longing for. That is why we do not listen. Because we don't really care about here, really and truly. We don't really care about this place. We don't care about this place. Done. This is um Second Peter 3 and start at 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men. Um that's not. Or it's uh, as some men. 